Hello lovers of life, welcome to my channel. My name is Launa K. I am a Namibian YouTuber. Um, you know, when I think of uh, Masconi Ferguson, I see strength, I see God's grace. And uh, I just thought, let me share with you and let's draw strength from her way of mourning. As you can see, she has lost a mother and... Um, as if, that, as if that was not enough, then she lost a brother. And uh, while she was just walking the path with her companion, her husband, her pillar of strength, you know, her husband of her youth, if I can put it that way, the father of her children, you know, the core business person. And then the Lord decided again a different way. I believe not all of us can be entrusted with such a cross or rather a responsibility but i believe the lord trust miss connie Today comfort my sunday. sister comfort i miss my person every sunday we'll just lie on the carpet and talk about everything under the sun or nothing at all and just lie here and be with each other i miss his physical presence so much but i feel in spirit that he's still with me. I haven't had the guts to to lie on the carpet since Joe got sick leading up to his elevation to glory. I just didn't think that I could do this on my own. So today being the eighth day of month eight of one which is 2021 <sighs> it dawned on me that it's a new day and I bless God for that I bless God for I'll call it the supernatural strength because I don't know how I'm able to do this. It can only be God. I wanted to share a word with you. Um, uh, where is it now? Uh, sure. Sorry, my phone is letting me down. Now it's, it's loading. Okay, there we go. Mm, where are we? It's a, yeah, there we go. It's from John 14, verse 16 and 17. It says, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him but you know him because he lives with you now and later he will be in you that's the book of john um when i read this i just thought about everything that happened and thought about how as christians we love to say he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. But how much of that do we actually believe? Um, because when things don't go our way, we fall apart and feel betrayed. And I did. I did. Um, I asked a lot of whys. I asked a lot of why him? He was so young, still had so much to offer. I asked a lot about our plans, what happens to our plans now. So many questions. And then I was reminded that, Connie, your plans are not always God's plans. Allow yourself to be still have faith that God still has your back 
and I believe God still has my back. Allow yourself to be still so you can hear and feel what the Holy Spirit is saying. So it can be revealed to you what God's actual plan is for your life. Because what I thought his plan for my life was, wasn't to be. So I was sharing that word just to say, Sometimes our plans are not the plan. Um, there's always a bigger plan. But even when things don't go our way, we need to remain faithful. We need to have faith. It's very easy to be fearful. I mean, it's very easy to run to that, to be scared. Be fearful because tomorrow's not guaranteed. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But with faith, you trust that God has your back. And you trust that God will never leave you nor forsake you. And everything... <laughs> he knows our futures better than we could ever. Better than we ever will. So faith, no matter how small, small as a mustard seed, that's all he needs from us. And faith and fear cannot coexist. So I'm hanging on to every little faith that I have and working on growing that faith and um, drawing even closer to God so that he can reveal to me what his actual plan is for my life. Just thought I should share. Happy Sunday, family. Blessed Sunday. Happy Comfort Sunday. the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, curing their pains and their sorrows. Psalms 147 verse 3. Then maidens will dance and be glad, young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into gladness. I will give them comfort and joy instead of sorrow. That's Jeremiah 31 13. Uh, it's become one of my most comforting Bible verses at the moment for a lot of reasons. Um, I believe in angel numbers and you'll notice that this, this verse is 3113, it's like a mirror number. Um, I'm very attracted to mirror numbers, maybe because I'm Gemini, it's a twinning thing, a mirror image thing but it seems to give me a lot of comfort, this verse. Then maidens will dance and be glad, young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into gladness. I will give them comfort and joy instead of sorrow. Jeremiah 3113. Moving on to John 16, 20. You will grieve but your grief will turn to joy. So there, there are a lot of places in the Bible where it's clear that grief is normal and we are allowed to grieve and, but have hope and faith that joy comes in the morning. And saying that joy comes in the morning does not mean in the literal sense of the word that you're going to wake up tomorrow morning and you're going to be joyful. Um, I'm finding that it's a process. I know that a lot of people are walking this journey with me. I'm not alone. And most of you are on social media. I, I, I see your, your messages. I hear about some of your comments. Um, I feel your support. And 
I give glory to God that I have so many people walking this journey with me. And even though this is just part of my grieving process, I see and hear as well that this is helping a lot of people that are going through what me and my family are going through. And again, if, if that is the Lord's intention, then glory to God. Glory to God that I'm able to give comfort and I'm able to be comforted. Just to continue um, what I've been reading. Remember these words and pray them several times today, which is what I've been doing. They read, God, I need, I want, and I desire your comfort. Encourage me and bring others into my life to walk alongside me and build me up. Thank you for hearing my prayer and responding in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for your encouraging and comforting words on a daily. Thank you for the prayers that you send and the verses, Bible verses that you send. Um, in building me up. Thank you for allowing me to do the same for you. If indeed I am. I appreciate you all. And I wish you a happy couple Sunday. This is a thing. Ah, this is my Sunday thing now. <laughs>